Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I want to tell you something. If you and I know each other, thank you for watching. This is not going to surprise you. If we haven't met, I want to tell you something about me that after meeting for, I don't know, an hour with me, you would probably very likely walk away with what might be a preconceived notion. There's this rumor flying around. Bianca is really tough. I remember the very first time I heard that. And one of the things that comes to mind, I see Steph laughing her little but tuck us off. <laughs> because she doesn't, she doesn't know where I'm going with this. Um, I remember hearing that for the very first time and feeling hurt by that statement. Because when somebody is tough, well, what's the purpose of being tough? When you're tough, you're just tough. It's kind of like sandpaper, right? Sandpaper has a certain purpose, but you don't want to snuggle with sandpaper. I don't want to snuggle with everybody, right? But just being tough for being tough's sake, for toughness sake, is not a good reputation and not one that I would ever want to create for myself or about myself. So I worked on this. I worked on what is tough and what does it mean to me and what is this value? Um, what, is it, what, is it, what, is it, what does it represent to me and why do I seem to be tough? And over the years in my professional career, I had the opportunity to really refine that for myself because I don't think there's anything really wrong with your value proposition, right? If you have a value of being tough and strong and relentless, or if you have a value of being kind and soft and malleable and, and generous, those are all beautiful value propositions. And sometimes they would be misunderstood at stand, staying almost in opposition of each other. I don't think that that's how values work. Values bring out the best in other people. So my toughness really is about pressure and responding to pressure, not just giving pressure and creating pressure, but creating an environment where the person that I'm working with, whether it's a team member or a client, whether it's my children or my friends, that I would be able to be in a space with them where my presence would allow them to show up as the best version of themselves they could possibly be. So yeah, sometimes I'm tough. I'm tough on unaccountability. I'm tough on not showing up. I'm tough on making excuses. I'm tough on not learning, taking chances, going again, giving up. Those are all things that I'm a bit tough on. But it took me years to recognize that this quality that I'm known for in one way or another is actually a tool. It's a tool to leverage what's already so beautiful and possible in a project or in a person. What's important about being tough, if you are somebody who is maybe tough or relentless or driven, what is important is that you apply that same value proposition to yourself. Otherwise, it just becomes a tool of oppression, of putting things down, of dominating. But if it's a tool that you're also using in your own life and you show up as somebody whose value proposition isn't just important to them when it comes to other people, but also important to when it comes to you, the individual, then I think you have an opportunity to see things flourish. People showing up as the best version of themselves. And I think that's what's so beautiful about working with people who have completely different value propositions from your own. Like, like attracts like, and I know that that's true. But take a chance in thinking about who do you want to work with? Who do you want in your inner circle? Are these people people who bring out the best version of yourself, who challenge you to come forward and show up as the best version of yourself? Or are these people who enable you in your bad habits? I would hope that being tough would allow me to be seen as somebody who 
creates an interconnected environment where people show up as the best version of themselves. Is that 100% accurate all the time? No, it's not. But that's the goal. That is what we aim for. So if you meet me and I'm tough and driven and direct, know that it's because I actually believe that every single person has inherent value and has something to do and to offer. And sometimes the thing we do and we offer changes, changes over time, it changes with age, it changes with experience, but it doesn't change the fact that you have something. You have something that you can offer to this world, to your family, to your community, to our planet. And I am tough on myself and on you, if I have permission to do so, to bring that out and to let that thing shine. Thank you for listening. Thank you for letting me chat with you about something that I don't normally chat about, nor do I readily walk around planet Earth talking about it. But I think it's important. It's important to talk about things, especially as women who lead, if you are a woman who is in a leadership position, to understand that who you are and how you show up, even if it's tough, um, can be a really positive thing. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.